What's going on guys? J Bob here. You already know it's Christmas season. It's all wintery and shit outside. There's white stuff falling from the sky. We're, we're in the old Christmas Wonderland going for the definitely gonna be we're gonna be pimping out Mike's room. He just got <laughs> moved into an apartment, so we're going to pimp it out Christmas style. So what better place to come to Joanne shopping center? Let's see how much these cost real quick. A little price checker somewhere. I don't know. Snowflakes. Oh, sweet. Five bucks? There's like two That's of them. five in. bucks? No, there's nine of them. Look, there's only nine of them in there for five bucks. Go pick it up. Come on, show some respect. Just kidding. Get the hell over here. All right, whatever. Yeah, good boy. Oh, I mean, part of YouTube is once you come up with something, you have to actually do it. You can't wait because if you don't, if you wait, you don't finish it. You don't finish your job. You know what I mean? It's kind of like school. Like I'm not going to school right now. I said I'd go next semester, but then like I just never got to signing up for another class. Logic, right? Okay, so essentially what I'm trying to say is that one of our videos, G Bob that we said we were gonna do. We talked about it, but we didn't act upon it, and it was supposed to be our banger video. Okay, like I said, like, we're, we don't, I don't, about to get we don't have all the shit for that yet. Are, you about, are we about to get in a little Derek J. Bob fight right now? So we're actually not going to Joanne's because their place is expensive as Where are we going? Target. So I'll see you when we get to Target. So we're at Target now. Derek has decided he wants to shop at Target so he can get his Starbucks, his uh, little latte, and a little popcorn baggie. Not a latte, it's called a latte. Okay. And I get, uh, whatever. Can't show Breck those, we'll get a bonus. <laughs> hey Santa, how are you doing? Light up if Breck is a virgin. <laughs> Hold up, let me count on. Mike's gonna have a hell of time picking this shit up. There's 13 of them. Hello everybody, I am Jay bob uh, Welcome to the side part of this episode of the Coogie Bears, where I'm gonna show you this Christmas menu item for your Christmas holiday meal. Today we have a, a beef sirloin tip roast. I have no idea what the hell I am doing, but I saw my toke and I have lots of meat around the house, so no homo. I thought, hey, Let's uh, get the uh, old oven going, what, or I don't even know what, if I'm using it, but let's, let's get right to it. So I do not know if I'm supposed to be thawing out this big hump of meat, but I'm doing that anyway. All right, so I have a huge hump of meat right here. Let me uh, slap it onto the cutting board. I think what I'm gonna do is cut it this way. I don't know why. I don't know what, I, I, again, if I have any culinary friends that know what to do, I'm sorry. I didn't pay attention in this part of culinary. I don't even think we did this. Yeah, I'm gonna cut right through it, cut it in half, and then throw it on a skillet. I don't know if that's gonna do anything, but let's f***ing see, you know? We like to just try new things, you know? Test the waters you know it's cutting through i thought it would be harder to cut through but i guess i have a sharp enough knife always remember i i do remember this always keep the knife pointed down so you have control of the knife and i don't have a study mat but i'm a professional cutter of meat so, all right so we now we have two big humps of meat all right so this is the pan i think i'm gonna need to cut it into fours so let's get right to that nice nice all right now let's go put this on the skillet so I guess I didn't cut that all the way through. All right, so now that I have added the meat to the pan, I have added some olive oil. Now I'm going to, I don't know, just throw random shit into the gillet and let's see what happens. Probably won't even eat it anyway. I'm, I don't know, it's gonna be bad, so let's just see what happens. So again, I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm gonna add some pepper and some salt, like so. This is a regno. I have no idea what it's gonna do. No idea. No, it's it's not illegal. Shit. It's it's labeled a regno. Oh boy. I don't know what's going on. I know none of you have this at home. I have some here today. Uncle Big Al's serious teriyaki. It's top secret formula. Top secret formula. Basically a teriyaki that has some other special ingredients in it that you cannot find in any other place in the world. I'm gonna let that low heat do its thing with the. I don't, I, I really don't know what I'm doing. I'm sorry. I totally forgot about these two other 
other pieces of meat. So I think I'm just gonna film wrap it for now. I have no idea what I'm gonna do with the, uh, the meat over here. I think I'm burning it now. It's still a little red, I don't really like that. Someone that knows more about cooking than I do is probably roasting in the comments. Throw me some tips or something. All right, so this has been Chef Bob and here's what the final looks like. Here it is, check this out. It smells absolutely delicious, but I'm not feeling it. So give a thumbs up, comment if you liked the Chef Bob cooking Christmas special. So uh, yeah, stay tuned and back to the video. What's going on? It's your boy Waterhead, J Bob back here with a quick segment. Just wanna do a quick shout out to our boy, JR, Jacob Redding out there at Louisville, 100% three. Uh, best in a uh, sharpshooter in the country. Flips it to Redding. He's a kook bear. Yeah, he is a kook. Class of 2017, Carol Chargers, bro. Let's get it. Shout out JR. JR, baby. Yo, yo, yo. What is going on, guys? We're here with a little, some kooky bears about to prank someone. Let's see how this goes, boys. Yo, yo, what's going on, guys? J Bob here. And uh, this is the air horn door frame. No, you can see the Come on, bro. Get it together, dude. You're pulling up there. Come on. So last night we decided to take one of our friends that day. Well, not even Zach, it was just his house, but his dad's psycho. Some background, he's got like six dogs. <laughs> I don't know if he's crazy, but like. No, no, no like. He's not, after last night, you think crazy, he's crazy? He's not psycho. He's just. He, he sleeps next to the door, so like. Uh, if, like, if you go ding-dong ditch him, like, he's gonna wake up quick, he's gonna come to the door, so it's kinda like a full, like, game, so you can get away quicker, and we get a, we're gonna get a reaction out of him for a second night in a row. So, basically, last night what happened was, me and Bob went up there, I set the camera on the light post facing at, uh, their door, and Bob rang the doorbell, I was hiding behind the, in the driveway on the truck, and Bob takes off, this man, like, just goes, so I was like, okay, but it's because, I could, whenever like, we went back to hide by the truck, I literally saw the front door open and I thought no. he had looked right towards us. So I yeah. fucking booked it. Yeah. And like, I thought you were him because I was so far ahead of you. I thought you were running after me. I'm like, stop, it's a prank. That well, was, was weird. Right. So basically, that's what happened. This dude came sprinting out of the house. You saw the footage. You, you know what happened, right? From day, from night one. Day from night one, you know what happened. But what was it in the video was he actually jumped in his car and chased us for about 30 minutes around. And we were tweaking so bad. I was tweaking. I mean, we didn't know just the house. Like, I know, but at that moment anyway. in time, like, he even threw shit at our friend Derek's car. Yeah, so he was, like, <laughs> he, he was crazy, man. He was, <laughs> he was chasing us for probably 30 minutes. He finally gave up because we, like, we had a faster car. He was in the truck. We, I mean, yeah, Derek's Pontiac. He was like, <laughs> Pontiac shit. Um, oh, GXP69 yeah, Mark II, yeah, whatever yeah, he calls so it. That's basically what happened. So we're going back tonight. To uh, do it again and have some fun. So uh, this time we're gonna be a lot more planned. So, <laughs> so uh, after this, we're gonna have to probably uh, maybe hit it up, maybe January, February, maybe. I don't know, maybe a few thumbs up or something. Maybe. Anyway, I don't know. Anyway, we'll stay tuned. Here's the second clip. <laughs> Hello, Waterhead. Hello, Waterhead. Hello, Waterhead. Hello, Waterhead. Hello,
All right, guys, just uh, had to dip out right quick. Um, Zach's dad called the cops on us, so we had to dip out. But that's gonna be the end of it, guys. Hope y'all enjoyed it. Like, comment, subscribe, and this is Kooky Bears. Thanks for watching. Wait, 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 wait. Just put it on me, put it on me. Woo, woo, it's the son of the police. I fucking pulled up and I was like, oh, hell no. I was like tripping out, I didn't know. I was like, who the f